Welcome back to Dunlop Falls here in Gatineau Park. I'm Matthew Henry of Matthew Henry Photography and we're here photographing the second part of my last adventure here. So let's get at it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. What we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right So when we finished our last time here at Dunlap Falls, I was kind of pointing at this double waterfall area. Now, in fact, depending on how you compose it, it actually looks like three. Right now, let me show you here. I have this framed up here, a portrait shot. Now, as you'll see here, the waterfall on the lower right, the waterfall on the mid left, and then the waterfall on the top. So now what I have here on my camera is once again, I still have my circuit polarizer. Now I have added a three stop neutral density filter simply because I am trying to get this little pooling area in front of the lower falls to do something a little special. But I think at the speed at which it's going, there's not much I can do at this stage. But once I get back and post, I will see uh, the various photos I have taken. Now, I did take a number of photos without the three stop neutral density filter because the shutter speed I was getting was uh, perfect uh, without it. And just having that circular polarizer on uh, to help bring out the colors and take the shine off the rocks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, from this position, I am going to flip it into a landscape shot. And because that basically merges the two upper waterfalls into a single one. So let's have a look now. Now do let me know which one do you prefer, the landscape shot or the earlier portrait orientated shot. Both very similar but yet a very different feel. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. What we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Alright, we finally made it to the top of the bridge So as you can see here That's where we were, we were down there so as promised, we're up here. Now I will admit, it's actually been a few years since I've come up this far because I thought the stream was right here. Well, obviously there's still water flowing, but as you can see, I kind of forgot there was some waterfalls up here as well. And just up in the distance is where, I, if I recall correctly, I didn't first time, but if I recall correctly now, you can trust me because I only ever make one mistake Yes, that's the one mistake I've made was that one. So up there, I believe it's a more of a stream area. So I'm gonna explore this area and see what photographs or potential compositions there are in the upper area. Now, as mentioned, there are a couple down back that way, which is going around the trail and, and uh, attacking it from the other side of the bank or from the other bank and, and trying to get those two compositions and those two photographs. Now let's have a look to see what we can find upstream, as promised, as delivered. 
what I've done is I've scrambled up the area just on top of the bridge and I've passed that first cascade or first waterfall and you'll notice back here if you've got this nicer waterfall further up coming down there's a little bit of twist and turn and comes into that pulling area I have to decide upon which side do I think I'm going to get the best composition because what you'll notice is I can access both sides uh, thanks to the, obviously this bridge but what I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm on this side of the river at this point or the creek at this point I should say and I want to see what a potential image might look from this side and then I'm going to go walk around and see what it might be from the other side so let's have a look so what you can see here is we have this nice pooling area over on uh, uh, sorry there we got this nice pooling area the challenge here from this side is potentially the fact that with the waterfall and kind of falling over in that area and sorry in that area I'm not exactly sure I'm going to get the best photo from this side but let me show you a challenge I'm facing from the other side so from the other side of the bank you'll notice that yeah there's a nice standing area area that I could stand right over here but we've got this fallen uh, tree limb over here or potentially just still growing and I can't necessarily easily get to a spot now but I am still going to go try just I might not be able to see it from this angle so I am going to go and check out the other side now what you'll notice uh, for keen viewers here is I'm not currently carrying my backpack I left it right by the bridge so I'm going to go back and pick that up but the reason why I didn't pick it up is today we had a light rain this morning so not only the rocks wet all the leaves that have fallen are wet and it's extremely slippery so I'm definitely taking some extra precautions here today So what's funny is probably the spot I first discounted is actually going to work out to probably be the best spot to shoot this particular waterfall. Now why is that? It is simply because the water is basically flowing right at you from this location. So that's in top tip because when shooting waterfalls try to get it such that the water is flowing right towards the camera. It adds impact and drama. Now sometimes that requires you to get into the water. Thankfully today I think I can get it by just putting my camera right here and I can stay on dry ground. So what you'll see is the water flowing down. There are basically two main uh, falls at the lower end, but there's a third that's kind of curving around in, in, this, in this area here. You'll see this third curving around on the left hand side. Now there is another one that it flows over the rock more far further to the left and kind of just is streaming over the rock so not really a fall but I'm ignoring that one because it's not being dramatic and the fact is I got this nice curve that leads into the pooling area so everything is kind of centering into the pool area from the lower waterfalls and in fact everything that's stacked up on top of it So I just finished shooting that uh, Upper Falls, gorgeous area, in fact I'm skipping the Upper Upper Falls that was there, I'll probably come back another day, whether it's this fall, but I'm definitely going to also come back here this winter. I have mentioned a few times the benefits of shooting local. So shooting local, one of the key benefits is the fact that you can come back and come back and try to get that best shot of the composition you really enjoy. Benefit number two is the fact that you can start trying to find other compositions besides the main ones that just jump out. As you saw here today, I was starting to see other compositions that I didn't see here on my very first trip. I'll link to that video here. Or even the fact that I was unaware of on the first part of this adventure and I'll link to that video here. The third benefit, and this is probably one of the best, is come back in different seasons. 
Now, obviously, I'm enjoying shooting Dunlop Falls here in the fall, and it's a beautiful area. I've given a number of tips of how to photograph waterfalls, but this tip here is just come back in different seasons to see what the landscape brings you. So I have a hunch that if I get here early winter with some nice snowfall before this creek freezes, and I'll be honest, I'm not sure if this creek does freeze given the flow, I'll probably get some nice interesting images. And even then, if I come back on a nice crispy cold winter day, I might even get lucky with some nice ice formations coming off of some of these rocks and, and waterfalls. So stay tuned to my channel to find out. Now, what I did mention earlier is there was two shots that I was looking to get, and we're gonna go to do those now. The trick is I'm actually on the right side of the creek, except this side of the creek is pretty steep to get down to where I need to shoot. Given the fact that the rocks and leaves are both slippery due to a morning rain, you're gonna have to be very careful going down there. But we'll give it a try while we're here. Now, Dunlop Falls actually is a circular trail. I'm on the other side of the creek, as mentioned. Now, I actually have not been on this side of the trail in a while. And in fact, the only reason why I came to this side of the creek was to get easier access to those two shots I was thinking about. But as you can see here, this is a potential shot as well. Now, I am gonna move on and just try to get to those two previous images, but I could easily spend another 30, 40 minutes just in this location trying to figure out how to photograph Dunlap Falls from this side. So this is another great tip. I've actually been here a few hours and I could actually, as mentioned, easily stay a few hours more. But I will be back because this area offers so many great opportunities. And that's the beauty of shooting local. So I'm precariously sitting on a top of a rock, which if you look at the overhead view here from the drone, you'll see exactly where I'm sitting. And I slipped actually just before getting up to here. So I'm gonna pack up here soon. But let me just quickly walk you through my challenges with this shot. So the challenges I'm facing right now is I have this log cutting across the scene. Now, I don't want it in this particular shot, but I'm trying to, I've been trying to get as much of this pooling area that's in front. So I probably might have to do, just nick that corner and edit that in Photoshop with a nice, easy content to wear a fill. It's cheating, but I'm not gonna move this big piece of nature out of the way. So that is causing a little bit of a challenge. And of course, just where I'm sitting is a challenging spot to get to. Uh, these rocks are slippery. And as mentioned, I, I fell just before getting up here. Thankfully, the camera was uh, safely sitting on top of a rock. My approach to this shot is quite simple. For the pooling area, I was looking for a slow shutter speed to try to get that silky smooth or a little bit of movement in that area. And then also just given the dynamic range as to where I'm sitting uh, from the lower area, which is darker than the upper area, I tried a few different exposures and shutter speeds specifically to try to make sure I got enough detail in the water. So I have a number of options when I get back into Photoshop and you'll see the result of that photo now. What I'm quickly going to ask you to do is I shot this particular lower waterfall two different ways. You'll see the first earlier shot. So have a look and tell me, do you prefer that one or the second one where I'm right up against the lower waterfall? Please let me know down in the comments below. I was on my way out and as I was getting further away from Dunlap Falls, I could, you know, the sound of that waterfall was getting a little, little less intense. But then all of a sudden, 
on the left hand side I started hearing a waterfall. I'm like, well that's weird. Dunlap Falls is over on this other side. But anyways, I'm following the trail out. Lo and behold, what do I see? But this. I now have a completely new waterfall to explore. Besides exploring that right hand side that I decided to skip because it warranted its own amount of time. This waterfall over here warrants its own amount of time. And in fact, I could explore further up the stream that I didn't even get to on the top of the waterfall. So there's so many things, or so many areas that I can explore and photograph just here. And this is not including just looking at ferns and character trees and what else uh, the other seasons might bring. So this is a strong benefit of not only exploring local, but taking the time to actually explore. I've been here a few hours, not rushing, taking my time. Now, when I've traveled, you're usually on the go, you gotta hit a spot, okay. Let me give you an example. Earlier this year, I was in the Canadian Rockies, in the Banff National Park area, and just outside of that at Abraham Lake. Now, obviously I spent a lot of money to get there, and I'm hoping to hit various locations to to explore and photograph. Rarely did I go back. I went to Abraham, went back to Abraham Lake a few times, but really nowhere else. So this is a key benefit of exploring local, photographing local. I'm actually gonna come back here and explore more, not just the waterfalls, but the area around it. Beautiful area, beautiful here in Gatineau Park. So I'm gonna leave it there. If, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd very much appreciate if you smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, it would really help me push through the YouTube algorithm and leave a comment below in terms of any questions you may have about how to shoot a waterfall, how to photograph moving water, or if you just want to know more about Dunlap Falls. Thanks very much, and until next time, bye for now.